Hey, this is Troy Erickson of Email Paramedic, and I have a very special announcement for you on this episode of the Secrets of Scale podcast. There's actually a special guest joining me. If you've seen the title of this video, maybe you recognize that name, maybe you don't, but uh, he's been a dear friend of mine for about two years now. And uh, as of March, I actually took him in, in-house here in the Email Paramedic office in St. Petersburg, Florida, Florida as COO. I just want to welcome Dom Giarvalon. Yes, yes. <laughs> What's up? So, um, first of all, man, I'm happy to have you here on the email paramedic team. We officially have some shirts now. This is the the sample, so we'll get more for everybody. But I'm actually gonna, for the first time, in one of the most unorthodox podcasts we've done, shift this bad boy to the middle, and we're just gonna ask Dom some questions right here uh, about his journey and try to turn this into somewhat of a, of a normal podcast. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we have some special announcements at the end of this. We do about some of the changes and things that are gonna be happening. But first, Dom, as I ask everybody, how did you get into email marketing and copyright? Um, it could be a long story, but I'll, I'll kind of sum it up in a couple of minutes. Uh, copywriting started for me, uh, actually, at a uh, live event, um, it was actually a Jason Capital event, and uh, we were kind of sitting there, and we were all wondering why we were there. Um, it was for one goal, and at that time, it was for dating. Um, so that's, I feel like for some people, that's kind of their entrance into copywriting, uh, whether they knew it or not, whether they were being sold to or they were learning. Uh, and then right then and there, I think it was either later on in that uh, Jason Capital event. He asked everybody if he wanted, if they wanted to learn like how he got everybody here. And like, he was like, you know, everybody paid like 79 or hundred some dollars for a ticket. He's like, well, do the number. So there's like 300 people here times that. And I sell like X amount all through what? An email. He's like, so I'll show you guys how to do that. And uh, that's pretty much how it started. So this was a dating event that turned into an email marketing event. Pretty much, uh, it, he that's how he kind of sold it. It was this like transition from like, you know, most of you guys here, like you guys want to get like girls or just kind of be like better dudes. Well, that's also going to require you to make money. And uh, that's sort of the lead in was like, I'll show you guys how to make money online. And then we kind of had an offer built in and ready for it. So. <laughs> in perfect Jason Capital style. We're, we're both friends, so <laughs> yeah. we can talk about him that way. We yeah. love him. Um, so when was the moment you realized that like email cop or sorry, email marketing and copywriting could uh, be your main thing? Uh, honestly, it was pretty much immediately. Um, I was already reading uh, Jason Capital's emails like pretty much daily. Um, and I had been on like a couple of other lists, but I really didn't know what I was reading. Like I made the connection when he sold it, that like, oh, that's how he's making like all this money, like was through this channel. And that's how he kind of sold it too. It's like, you know, those emails I write, like that's copy. Copywriting is like, you know, me, what I'm saying right now, like how I'm selling this thing. And then that's sort of the, uh, the angle he took. So pretty much immediately when I found out about copywriting, I really didn't know what a sales letter was or any of the other stuff. It was pretty much exclusively email. What were you doing before this? If you want to share a few details. Um, a lot of the students in our certification program, they they love Dom's background. And it's a, it's a very true like zero to hero story. And um, yeah. let me just say like he's COO of a $3 million company now and like does an amazing job. His day-to-day -day is basically looking at um, all of our writers and making sure that they're hitting the KPIs we set, making sure our clients are happy and helping me develop um, new information products because we have two sides of our business, right? So obviously one of them is done for you work. So email list management, writing emails, making sure deliverability is on point, strategizing, creating automations for our clients. Um, and obviously we can break off the deliverability piece because we're good at that. Hence, no paramedic, finding dead lists. 
And on the other side, um, we help freelancers, especially copywriters, become email list managers and learn how to do the things that we do. Um, so Dom, he is very much in charge of the agency on a day-to-day -day basis. And he also helps me develop ideas for our certification program and something else that we'll talk about toward the end of this video. So um, he's in charge of a lot of cool stuff. Uh, does an amazing job. I don't know anybody that works harder than him. Um, so let me preface that, but go a little bit deeper into what you were doing the, uh, before all of this. Uh, so before all this, um, actually, well, I'll just start with like that kind of start. So at the time, uh, to buy that like program from Jason Capital, I was, uh, bar backing in the restaurant industry and, uh, I looked far different than I do now. You had uh, a man bun. <laughs> I had like a man bun. Uh, it was that was kind of like the start of it. I had a uh, sort of like longer hair. Uh, I was working like super late nights, and uh, to be able to pay that off, I was like working seven days a week there. Um, as we all know, you know, uh, things some people are really great from the beginning. I was not like, and I think you can also attest to that. We could probably touch on that um, in a little bit because I think a lot of people connect with that as well. Is like, uh, you know, even though you're not the best at the beginning, if you stick with it, you know, you can be uh, pretty good. Uh, so it took a little while to like get success. Um, so I did that, um, kept writing, um, but I wasn't making any money with it. Really didn't know how to apply anything. Um, you know, do I start my own list? Do I work for others? I, you know, I tried working for others, had a couple like small things, but nothing substantial by any means. Uh, then I started uh, at another Jason Capital event. Um, uh, one of my uh, earlier business partners uh, in a different business I'm not a part of anymore, he met a guy who uh, owned a weed farm, like a marijuana farm, like, like the smokable. Um, so I ended up on that farm. Uh, you know, it was like kind of like a early hippie dream, super long hair, wanted to like, I don't know, fulfill the dreams of being like a, honestly just a hippie, just kind of do like wacky stuff and hang out. And, uh, you know, kept writing at night, just, and doing that during the day. And that eventually just kind of, just kept buying time, buying time, buying time. And then eventually uh, ended up with, uh, you know, a couple clients and then started building from there. And by that time, it was so from like early 2016 to 2019. So almost like two and a half years of just bar backing. And uh, that's the, that's the small version. I, we can always go a lot deeper, but yeah, it's, it's always important to tell these stories because a lot of people, it's funny when we look at um, the two markets we serve, it's like a lot of done for you clients at first, they're a little bit afraid to tell the stories that are like true stories that like of their zero to hero moments and the things that they've like the changes they've made in their lives, they're amazing. And that's what people relate to, right? So like your audience relates to that. So on the other right, and the people we train, they love his story. But at first, sometimes our clients are like, I can't tell my story that's similar to that. Um, but the, the deeper you get into this, you realize that people relate to the come up, right? So the struggle from zero to hero, uh, that's why I say that all the time. Uh, and it, it's just a really cool story. And like I said, I'm happy to have him here and work super hard. So yeah, um, yeah as far as um, what we've got going on in terms of changes, I, yeah. I guess we'll kind of turn this into a PSA at this point. So um, over the year, we've kind of made some of these changes already. Some of them are still in the works. Some of them are happening right now, but he's COO. He's working on becoming a business partner um, in email paramedic. So that's pretty awesome. Um, on top of that, like I said, we launched a certification program this year, which is completely brand new. Did amazing. We currently have 322 people in there right now. Um, that we are training about 10 to 20% are certified so far. So it's going great. Um, and in the very near future, we are actually doing two things. Um, so one of them, uh, a lot of people look at the certification program and it's not cheap, right? So a lot of people are like, gosh, I really want to get my first email list management client because it's so much better than copywriting. 
you can get clients on retainer. You can help them to a much higher degree because you're ma basically managing data for them instead of just writing emails, handing it to the client and hoping that it does well. Um, and you can control things like deliverability. So a lot of people want to get into that, but they aren't ready to jump into certification. So we answered your call. And as of today, we just finished the program. It is called Get Your First Email List Management Client. Um, he helped me make it. I did most of the videos. Um, and McCullen on my team, who is traveling at the moment, he has been amazing as well. And we put this program together. He's going to be running a lot of the weekly calls. I'm super pumped about this. And it is going to be a four-week program that is going to literally change the lives of a lot of copywriters who are good talented, but they're just not like hitting the nail on the head when it comes to strategy, automations and deliverability. And hence their clients are going to get amazing results. And they're obviously going to earn more themselves as well. Uh, it's just making this whole industry a better place. So um, that's what I'm excited about. Definitely. Any comments to add there? Yeah. I mean, I think kind of like to go from, it made sense to go from the story to this, because I kind of wish there was something like this around at the time. Uh, there was a lot of like, you know, there was mixtures. There's always programs, out there, right? There's a bunch of pieces, you, you know, there's e-com stuff, there's info product stuff. There's like just basically a hodgepodge of like programs everywhere. Um, but I think with that in mind, getting your first client and that being the sole focus and making sure you're going from point A to point Z in like a very timely manner, um, that's what's key. Like, so we're, all, we're not just gonna like show you a bunch of stuff because we think it's cool. Uh, we're actually going to show you, you know, what it takes to go from like basically zero to having your clients and uh, making sure you know everything you need to know to do it. So that's what's really cool about this. Yeah, so that'll be coming out literally this week. Um, and we're going to put a little link in the description so you can check it out and get in early because as more people join, for every 10 people that join, the price goes up. I think it's going to go up by 50 bucks for every 10 people that join, but we will see. And eventually, this is going to be a decently high ticket program, but right now we still need people in it to start and uh, it's going to be amazing. We've had a lot of demand for this, like I said. Another really cool thing coming out, I don't want to say too much about it, but um, I recently bought copywriting.org and one thing that's really helped me propel my career is being able to get on different podcasts, get on different interviews. Seth and Georgia, Justin Goff, for example, and like Alex Catoni, um, speaking to the audience of Founder Magazine tomorrow, things like this, right? Those take time to get to. And there's a lot of writers and, and freelancers that they never get those opportunities. Um, but that's about to change because copywriting.org, we are going to interview in a written format, any copywriter who needs to get their name out there, needs to be interviewed, needs to have their first opportunity, no matter how small, to be seen by the world. So if you're a copywriter and you're wondering how people get interviewed, you're wondering how they get in different articles and publications, this is your first opportunity to be on a premium website in copywriting.org. Um, that will probably come out in November. Um, towards the end of the month, maybe you consider it like a Thanksgiving gift or something, but I'm super pumped about it. It's going to be really, really huge. And we're going to have some A-listers that I'm interviewing right now, putting on the homepage and you will be, you'll have your own page on the featured copywriter section. Um, you can search for your name, you can share it, and it's going to be a great opportunity for you to get in front of a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, this is another one of those things I think when either even if you're kind of an established copywriter or just getting started uh, this is could be one of the things that uh really propels you like very early on um being able to be listed next to you know these big names um even if your name not is not as well known uh this is a huge opportunity to, one to get your name out there two to just get the, the ball rolling right um the snowball starts small and ends up really big so as copywriting the reason why I mean, the reason why it's called copywriting.org is what's going to be something that clients look up copywriting. And then the first thing that's going to pop up is a bunch of uh, names listed on copywriting.org. So they're going to click there and they're going to go and be able to see, you know, your name and potentially, you know, a bunch of other people. And they're going to be like, what is this? And 
they're going to be able to just see interviews and understand who the different copywriters are. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's actually going to be very similar because, you know, a lot of times you talk about the difference between copyright and email list management. We've already done this on emaillistmanagement.com. If you check that out, it's essentially going to be very similar to that. It's just that email list managers are just more of an exclusive group that's a little bit more like cream of the crop when clients are looking at it. But for copywriters, like this is your opportunity. It's not going to cost you anything, at least at the beginning. So make sure you fill out your interview form. And this is going to be a really good opportunity for you. Your interview is only going to be as good as you make it. So make sure you fill out the information right. And um, you can even provide like different wins you've had, and different things that will attract clients to you. If you put together a good interview and um, obviously share it with us, we'll share it with the world. So. That's pretty much everything we've got. Um, those interviews are not available yet. You can't get it anywhere. So the only thing we have at the moment is getting your first email with spam to the client. The link to that is going to be below in the description. So uh, feel free to check that out. Um, also, he's gonna be sending you some emails as well. Given that he's COO, he's taking a little more responsibility two, three times a week. He's gonna be in your inbox with stories uh, from around the office, new things we've got going on. Uh, personal things and just kind of taking the the emails and messages that you've read from me which I get a lot of replies and I appreciate them I love the support um, and I just want to make sure we can give him a little spotlight too because he does a lot of hard work here awesome yeah I'm excited to you know stay in communication with everybody and uh, be able to tell uh, tell about the amazing things that we're doing inside the office and uh, we have a, an amazing team uh, I will say it's pretty much second to none as far as like, you know, the feel of walking in every day and being able to work with, you know, extremely creative people uh, and being able to share that with, you know, the audience. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. So um, we're just trying to show to the world what we do here every day. There's not a lot of uh, agencies, for lack of a better word, that actually come together in an office every day and build a real business. Um, you know, we started out as kids just writing, but now it's turned into something that's a lot more. We made over $50 million for our clients just by improving deliverability or copy or strategy and automations and all the things that go into a successful email list. So we're super pumped to continue to share that, whether, um, you know, you own a business or whether you're wanting to learn how we do this for businesses. So uh, we appreciate you watching and being here and following along. And, uh, I'm excited for this. So awesome. we'll see you in the next episode of the Secret to Scale podcast. This is a very unique one, <laughs> but we are going to be doing some things that are extremely unique because that's the whole name of the game. So we will see you next time. See ya.